we think about love some people think it's all about the emotions it's all about the butterflies in the stomach it's all about all that yes it happens it's part of it but love is all encompassing love is hard work so when you choose to say you love someone else whether male or female now and what i'm talking about man and woman kind of love my man and woman kind of relationship okay because that is what the bible agrees with thank you very much both physically and monetizationly. <laughs> Jesus, I thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I thank you so much for those of you that have been here since day one. I love you guys so much. And those of you that are just coming here, I love you no less. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for your love, you know, towards the last video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like and do not forget to share all righty so let's get into today's conversation do you really think you understand what love is that's the first question do you really think you understand what love is when we think about love some people think it's all about the emotions it's all about the butterflies in the stomach it's all about all that yes it happens it's part of it but love is all encompassing love is hard work so when you choose to say you love someone else whether male or female now and what i'm talking about man and woman kind of love my man and woman kind of relationship okay because that is what the bible agrees with thank you very much when you're saying that you want to love someone, you're saying you want to take care of this person, you want to work hard for this person, you want to work intentionally and be committed to this person. Now, love is not just about the feelings. Love is about the work that you're going to put in. The standard for love is not what the world says. The standard as a Christian, as a child of God, is according to the Bible. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is pure. You see, love, according to the dictate of God, is enough for any marriage. I know that people say, oh, it's, love is not enough. Love is not enough because you've not really gone to read what love is. According to the scripture, you've not taken into consideration what the Bible interprets love to be the bible says that men should love their wives as christ loved the church and gave himself for her like you love someone that you do not see yourself anymore that's why i said love means you're working for the other person you're not about yourself love is not greedy love is not selfish so we have a lot of people doing transactional kind of love because they really don't get it they really don't understand what the bible says about love and how the bible sees love so when i say i want to love this person i'm saying that everything about myself goes backward this person comes first this person is my person is me now now i don't i'm not seeing the person as that person i'm seeing the person as me so i would take care of this person as i take care of myself i would love this person as i love myself which means that if i don't love myself i am not capable of loving the other person do you see that if you don't love yourself you're not capable of loving another person because if you hate yourself if you're selfish to yourself you'll be selfish to another person if you're hostile to yourself you'll be host out another person if you don't treat people around you well it means that you don't treat yourself well so that's how deep love is now love also means submission to god because the reason why we have a lot of issues surrounding love marriage relationship is because a lot of the world has not so has refused to submit to god we have refused to submit to God. It is in God that we can really love. It is in God that we can really get the essence of love. Because the human nature is naturally selfish, naturally withholding, okay? But when we submit to God, we enter into the sphere of love. We enter into that light that gives us love. So love means submission to God. So over this person, I've submitted to God to love this person right. I've submitted to God to treat this woman right, to treat this man right. So I've submitted to God to make sure that Jesus the Lord is the Father, the Helper. Everything about this home stays under Him. So love means submission to God. It means that anything that is about this marriage, that's about this relationship, is under the jurisdiction of God. And this means if as a person, I say I love this person, and I'm not yet married to this person, being submitted to God means that I cannot sleep with this person until marriage. It means that I cannot have premarital sex. 
because my love is submitted to God. In marriage, I can't see another woman. I can't see another man because I mean, and by seeing, I can't commit adultery. That's what I mean. You cannot commit adultery because that love is submitted to God. And love means choosing to stay, choosing to be committed regardless. See, this is why you have to let God choose your partner for you. Don't go and choose somebody that <laughs> will give you a problem. Okay? And then you now start doing all the right things for the wrong person. So love means that you choose your partner every day. You choose your partner every day. We are, there is no perfect partner anywhere. Don't let anybody fool you. People will not show you the downside of their relationships. Whatever you see on the outside is what, of course, that's what is sweet to show. But every relationship has its struggles. Every partner, nobody is perfect. No one is perfect. So you need to get to understand that you have to choose this person every day. Loving this person according to how God has intended that I choose to love this person every blessed day. Whether they, they are annoying the hell out of me, I choose them. Whether they don't get what I'm trying to say at the moment, I choose them. And choosing them also means that because I have chosen them, I am learning from them. I am learning from them. I have decided that, okay, whatever makes this person happy is what I'm going to do. Whatever makes the other person happy is what I'm going to do. So it's choosing to stay regardless. This means that love is complete death to self. Like you do not see yourself anywhere. You just see this person. You see this person, you have dead yourself, okay? You've dead your wants, you've dead your needs for this person because this person is your business. This person is your project. This person, see, love is, is, is hard work. So are you really sure you want to love? Are you really sure that you are ready for that journey? Because you know, sometimes when we pray to God and maybe as a single person, we pray to God and God is telling you, oh, you're not ready. You're like, I'm ready now. I have space. I have this, I have that. See, when, when is God looking at you and saying, see, you're still very selfish. You still don't understand what love is. You're not, you're not, you're not ready to do the hard work. You're not ready to do the, do the intentional work, okay? So that is what God is trying to tell you to start learning. So we have to know that love is deeper than what we think it is. The God that we serve wants us to love just the way, at least in a measure of how he loves of how he loves if we enter into the capacity of god's love there's not going to be issues i tell you there's not going to be issues people in fact marriages would be beautiful will be beautiful anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe what is love let me know in the comment section